The number one is Arxon 018 Ho 18041. The Arxon 018 Ho 18041 is made with oversized lock nuts and clevis pins at the critical junctions to ensure safe operation when loaded with large panels, and it features a 360 degree rotating platform that allows for vertical and horizontal installations. The price is around $289, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 176 reviews which average rating is 4.4 stars for this product, a customer said. Okay, purchased the red lift from HF and when I put it together realized all the reviews are right, wobbly cheap and poorly made. The cable winch drive of so many of these lifts are the problem. No more with this Arxon unit. I have not used it yet, but put it together and wow, major differences in quality. The mast is moved by a ratcheting crank mechanism and is super smooth going up. The safety catch latches continuously while raising the lift. So it will not go down until you hold, lock the safety open and reverse the crank. The black finish is very good too. I like that this lift will go to 15 feet where the HF only does 11. This unit will also allow sheets to be lifted virtually so if covering a vaulted ceiling 12 to 14 feet up, you can do that with this hoist. The only thing I am not sure of yet, the clips to hold a sheet horizontally while tilted, which is how these are usually loaded with a panel of drywall, has plastic clips that seem like they could break. I think if they do, I would make my own out of aluminum or steel. In the Another happy customer said, Awesome product. I was given an estimate by a local contractor to drywall my room addition. I did a cost comparison and I could buy this machine and all material for less than half of his estimate. So I did and let me tell you. I was able to drywall my ceiling and walls with one half x4 x8 and one half x4 x12 drywall by myself and it looks great. This machine is well worth the investment. An unhappy customer said. Nuts and bolts falling off the first time you use it does not inspire confidence. Now, since I have a few screws loose myself, I decided to let that go. I assume the nut came loose during shipping. What is far more troubling is the pieces that support the sheet, pieces that are supposed to snap in place into the arm that forms the top of the T of the thing, they come out during use. I thought I messed it up, my go-to explanation when things go wrong, when I installed them. I made triple sure they were clicked into place and tried again and then they popped back out again. I'm not sure how, but those pieces coming loose while the unit is under load is far from ideal. The unit is serviceable for a cheapie, but if you have a lot of drywalling to do, I'd treat yourself to one that doesn't randomly fall apart. The second product in our list is Jip Tool 11 FT Red. The Jip Tool 11 FT Red has a commercial grade build and utilizes a winch crank that makes it easy for a single person to raise 4 by 16 foot panels to the ceiling. Plus, its auto locking outriggers help keep them securely in place as you work on affixing them. The price approximately $199. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 211 customer reviews, a customer said. December 24, 16 Update. Although I don't hang a ton of drywall, this thing has proven extremely useful. It is still working well, and the number of projects I've used it on have justified the purchase. A great piece of equipment. Asterisk 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 I've hung a fair amount of ceiling drywall with sheets on my head, balanced precariously on a ladder, so this was a welcome piece of equipment. Although one part of the lift arrived broken the knob to release the tripod legs, it works just fine. 
Assembly was easy. Note that this is a very heavy piece of equipment. Once disassembled, it is a more manageable, storable three pieces. Operation is simple, and positioning of ceiling sections with cutouts for electrical boxes is easy with this lift holding all the weight. You can also shift around the drywall and tilt up a corner or edge to get it into position on tight fits. Very nice. I am a bit worried about the long-term reliability of the friction brake, but only time will tell. Another happy customer said. I placed order for Jiptool 11 feet heavy duty drywall lifter panel on April 21 to 16. My order shipped on April 22 to 16. I received my order on April 28 to 16. The box size 53 inches by 22 inches by 9. The entire of the this box looking very good when UPS bring it to my door. The plastic strap is tight. All sides are smooth and fresh. I cut the strap and opened the box. Double boxes that why it is very strong. I checked every single parts. All are looking good. No sign of damage. But it does has so bad smell of chemical. I leave the box open for three days and the smell gone. Because I need to do more researching before I start my drywall ceiling, so I am not hurry to do assembly for this lift, everything still in the box and it is ready for my job in any time I want it. I went to Harbor Freight and look at the demo drywall lifter, I see it is exactly with the jip tool but the price. An unhappy customer said. On lifting the fifth sheet of one half X48 X96 drywall to the ceiling, I heard a loud bang and discovered that one of the hinges for a tripod leg had broken. Inspection showed that the bottom of that hinge had been tack welded in place, but the complete weld had not been done. Took it to a local welder who reinforced all of the hinges for me and hopefully it will be fine. None of the welds were what I would judge to be good quality. Looked like I did the welding, and I know what a good weld looks like, but not how to do it. The next product is Telpro Inc. 138 2. Though pricey, the Telpro Inc. 138-2 is a quality unit made in the United States that should function reliably for years to come. It offers a maximum load of 150 pounds, and, with the purchase of an optional extension, it can reach ceilings up to 15 feet high. The price is around $743, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product has average 4.5 stars from more than 60 customer reviews, a customer said. Replaced old one lost in a fire had it since 1997 never failed the longest lasting piece of equipment and have ever owned the new one has even better been making a living with this over 25 years. Another happy customer said. My former boss bought one of these years ago, and we hung thousands of sheets of drywall with it over the 13 years I worked for him. Now, I have my own remodeling business, so I ordered the same model. I was concerned about the quality after reading other reviews, but it arrived in great shape. I inspected each piece as it came out of the box. Yes, there were a few wear spots in the paint, but no scratches or dings. A few of the parts have been redesigned, but everything worked like the older model. I'm looking forward to assembling and using this new model. One thing, I almost threw away the crank handle with the cardboard box. It was rolling loose on the bottom. The next one is Marshalltown QLT Place 589. The Marshalltown QLT PL 589 makes use of machine mechanics principles at their best. It is nothing more than a cleverly designed lever that helps you raise heavy sheets enough for easy integration with framework. 
Plus, it is small enough to fit in a pocket. This product is available on Amazon for $12. There are 222 reviews which average rating is 4.6 stars for this product, a customer said. If this thing would just commit to being a panel lifter, then I would have given it 5 stars. As far as using it as a rasp and bottle opener, no. Let's make this short and sweet. As a rasp, it's garbage and as a bottle opener, know your demographic. Those of us who know how to hang drywall already have a bottle opener on our keychain or know every bottle opening trick in the book, or if it really comes down to it, we have our teeth, at least, enough of our teeth to get to that sweet sweet 12 ounces of nectar that lay beneath that bottle cap. Overall, lifter, phenomenal, rasp, garbage, bottle opener, no one has gotten that far. Another happy customer said, Sturdy, and works well. Contrary to another reviewer's thoughts, I found that the rasp on the tool worked quite well. An unhappy customer said, Works well as a drywall lift, but the built-in rasp is pretty useless. It doesn't have enough bite to really dig in to type 10 rock. The good thing is, the built-in bottle opener helps me get drunk enough that I don't care what my drywall looks like. The next product in our list is Troy DPH-11. The Troy DPH-11 can support full sheetrock or plywood panels easily with its welded, all-steel frame. It is durable enough for professionals, yet is easy enough for home DIYers to use, and it comes for a budget-friendly price that most can afford. The price is around $563, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 4.6 stars with more than 678 customer reviews, a customer said. It may not be the most expensive, professional, quality tool, but it sure was a lifesaver when I drywalled the ceiling in my basement. Two notes worth knowing about ahead of time. 1. The instructions are beyond worthless. Just use your brain and put things together how they fit rather than trying to decipher the instructions which were written in some third world country, are missing pictures, and were translated three times before settling on English. 2. The side extenders don't really do much to hold up longer sheets. I tried them with some 10-foot sheets, when centered on the hoist, that is just a foot longer than a standard 4x8 sheet on each side. The extenders did not actually hold up the ends. What I did to deal with issue number 2 was to put all of the screws in partway. Then I would push the sheet up with one arm and use my screw gun to drive a couple of screws until they had enough holding power so I could stop holding up the sheet while I finished driving the remaining screws. This worked great and I did not need another person to help. I am a simple homeowner, not a building contractor. People can. Another happy customer said. I've bought a lot of Made in China products over the years and have learned to keep my expectations low. I certainly didn't expect a lot when I ordered this lift. But wow. This thing works just fine right out of the box. Could the cable be better? Yes. Could the alignment be better? Yes. Could some of the parts be thicker or heavier? Yes. But then, would it cost more? Yes. For anyone willing to use a little care, it's all you need. It may be basic, but it's all there and it works just fine. An unhappy customer said does not work, the telescoping segments that lift the panel up get stuck and you can't move them up or down. The cradle that holds the panel rotates when you move the lift around, so it's nearly impossible to line it up with the other panels that are already nailed to the ceiling. Dangerous, twice the one of the outriggers that supports the panel slipped out while I was lifting the panel to the ceiling. The panel tends to slip off the cradle as well. It's also very dangerous to have a panel stuck 8 feet in the air. You have to manually remove the panel from the lift while it's in the air so that you can forcibly unstick the telescoping segments. 
I sent the lift back for a refund. You're taking your life in your own hands if you use this thing. The next product in our list is Pentagon Tools 3000. If you are installing near floor level, the Pentagon Tools 3000 is a useful item to have around. It's small enough to fit in any toolbox or pouch and requires only a little bit of foot pressure to raise your panels a couple of inches off the ground. The price is around $12, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 4.6 stars with more than 158 customer reviews, a customer said. This is described as a drywall lifter, and based on the reviews, it seems to do a fine job at that, but I use it for something different. I need to lift the legs or corners of heavy furniture onto heavy duty, low height dollies, one leg or corner per dolly. I have other lifters that are made specifically for my purpose, but I've found that they aren't as sturdy, they aren't as stable, and they cost a whole lot more than the Pentagon lifter costs. I bought a couple of these Pentagon lifters, and I haven't had any problems with slippage, so they're good for what I need them for. Another happy customer said, It is a drywall lift, not much to be said about it. It is a small metal lever. I drywalled an entire rec room with it, and it did its job. It did not bend or otherwise exhibit any defect. The next one is Redline RLP 9000. The Redline RLP 9000 tilts to a 65 degree angle, making for easy loading and unloading of sheets, and making installation on slanted ceilings a less cumbersome task. Conveniently, it can be assembled and disassembled in minutes without any tools. The price approximately $220. This product is rated with 4 stars from 135 customer reviews, a customer said. The one-star reviews are mostly from homeowners who don't know how to use tools. You can read it in their descriptions. Things like, it's wobbly, yeah, that's how it adapts to an imperfect ceiling. Yes, this is a cheap hoist. It requires some finesse to use, you can't be forcing things. Definitely be careful to make sure the crank arm is locked. The directions aren't great, so you need to be able to figure mechanical things out. I've done a few ceilings with it now, lifting quite a few 8 and 12 foot 5 8 sheets, and it works just fine. I'm sure the people having problems also regularly burn up drills, break wrenches, etc. and it's never their fault, it's always the dang tool. If you're a skilled craftsman, you know the overconfident people I'm talking about. Otherwise, well, people should be honest with themselves and pay someone to do the work instead of buying this tool. Having a hundred pound sheet of drywall fall on you due to your stubborn incompetence, cheapness isn't worth saving a few hundred bucks. An unhappy customer said. The lift is built with cheap parts, I used it on a small job, 20 to 12 footers and this is what happened with the lift. The extension arm where are you pull the knob out to extend the arms. It won't be long till they break. They are built cheap I had to repair one already. The cable started to fray already. The handle for the wheel to crank it up broke. That is built very cheap. All of the black end covers the caps, fall off and you must glue them on. The tilt springs back up to level when trying to put a sheet on. I tried to adjust it didn't work. And the brakes are too short and do not hit the floor. So I recommend looking elsewhere to purchase a lift. My hope that I would be able to return this. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.